awesome animals. Hello, everyone. Today we'll be traveling to Ireland and we'll be talking about the Irish Setter. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. The solid red Irish Setter first appeared in Ireland in the 19th century. The Irish Setter first became popular in the 18th century. It is believed to have developed from an English Setter Spaniel Pointer Gordon Setter mix. The earliest ancestors of the Irish Setter were not red, but red and white. The Irish Setter was bred for hunting, specifically for setting or locating and pointing upland game birds. They are a tireless, wide-ranging hunter and well suited to fields and wet or dry moorland terrain. The Irish Setter is fun, loving, playful and affectionate, always ready for a rollicking good time. Irish Setters are slow to mature and will retain their puppy enthusiasm for several years, often throughout their life. Temperament is affected by a number of factors including heredity, training and socialization. Irish Setters are good sized dogs, ranging from 25 to 27 inches in height and 60 to 70 pounds in weight. The Irish Setter tends to have a high metabolism and may need more food than a similar sized dog of a less active breed. In Irish Setters, health problems can include progressive retinal atrophy, hip dysplasia, hypertrophic osteodrostophy, and hypothyroidism. Irish Setters can also be prone to epilepsy and osteosarcoma, bone cancer. Irish Setters are well known for their solid red coats, but that wasn't always the case. Originally bred for the hunting, their owners once preferred Irish Setters to be red and white, because that color pattern made the dogs easier to see in the field. As the breed appeared more and more often in shows rather than on the hunt, solid red dogs became more fashionable. Charles H. Turner brought an Irish Setter named Elko to America in 1870. Just a stateside interest in the breed was beginning. In 1876, Elko became the first Irish Setter to win a championship in the U.S. He beat 197 puppies and was integral in the establishment of the breed in the country. At least three American presidents are known to have owned Irish setters during their tenures in the White House. Harry Truman owned one named Mike, Ronald Reagan had one named Peggy, but arguably the most famous White House Irish setter was Richard Nixon's beloved King Timaho, or Tim for short. He was one of several dogs of various breed of the Nixon family owned. The dog whisperer Caesar Millen is known for working with his two pit bulls, the late Daddy and Junior. But the first dog he ever owned was an Irish setter. A doctor neighbor of Millen's owned an Irish setter and gave Millen a puppy from the dog litter. Millen named the pup Saluki. In the 60s, Disney produced several popular live action animal adventures, like The Incredible Journey and Charlie the Lonesome Cougar. One of those movies, Big Red, is about a wild hearted Irish setter, the titular Big Red, who rebels against the show dog lifestyle his owner wants for him. Big Red's best friend, a young boy who understands the dog independent spirit. Irish Setters are a tireless, wide-ranging hunter and well-suited to fields and wet or moorland terrain. Using their excellent sense of smell to locate the mark or bird, the Irish Setter will then hold a pointing position, indicating the direction in which the bird lies hidden. Irish Setters are notably slow to mature, which means that their physical growth normally outpaces their behavioral development. The result is young, full-grown dogs that still possess a healthy amount of puppy energy. Over time, Irish Setters mature into intelligent dogs although they often maintain stubbornness streaks. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time, goodbye!